three subtopics. So which is gravitation, Newton's law of gravitation, then we have Kepler's law, okay, then we have satellite motion. So we go one by one, okay, basic things. Okay, before we start, I think you already come up with the myth. Pernah dengar tak cerita uh, Isaac Newton? Isaac Newton, okay, study under tree, apple tree. Okay, then the apple falls, reach his head. Right, okay, actually that's a myth. Okay, but the true part is there was an apple tree near his house. Yang tu betul. Okay, so what happened when we go for the myth? Okay, he's studying under a tree. And then what happened? Suddenly, the apple falls, which is him. Then he keep thinking, why the apple falls towards his head? So he come up with the theory which we're going to do. Kalau pokok durian hanya tu, buah durian, kita dah tak payah belajar. Ini semua buah apple, kita kena belajar lah. Kan? Siapa yang kat UK tak ada durian? Okay, so what happened? So he come up with a theory of universal law of gravitation, which states that when two bodies interact, okay, two bodies interact, there is a gravitational force between them. Okay, let's say this is the planet Earth. M1, the mass. Okay, this is the apple just now. Okay, M2. So, Newton states that when two masses interact, there is a gravitational force act between them. So, M1 and M2. Okay, then it is inversely proportional to the square distance between them. So we have distance between them R inversely So by logic, why the earth, oh sorry, the apple falls towards the earth? Sebab ini besar, ini kecil. Siapa kau ada menang lah? Sebab ini normal lah. Kan, takkan bumi ni pergi ke apple? Kan, okay, you have equal forces between them, but the lower mass will move. Father. Okay, we'll move easier. So, we come out with this equation, solve this equation. So, we have F equal to G capital M1 M2 over R square. So, what is G? G is gravitational constant. Universal gravitational constant 6.67 10 to 11 Newton meter square kilogram negative 2. Okay, it's not hard to memorize this. We just substitute. This is mass of the first object. This is mass of the second object. This is distance between the object. But, make sure the distance is taken from the center of gravity. From the center. Means, if this is Earth, this is Moon, so you take from here. That is not. Okay, not from here. Okay, because gravity acts on the center. Okay, kita pun ada pusat gravity kan, tak nak? Manusia pusat gravity kan? What is your center of gravity? Everything has center of gravity. That's why you can become stable. Let's say you hold this pen at the right point, so tak kena jatuh lah. Okay, so human being, where is our center of gravity? Kau mana? Pusat lah. Kau tak boleh pusat. Pusat. Kalau lelaki, kita stable 50-50. So from here, then to your feet, 50-50 lah. Kalau tinggi awak 2 meter, 1 meter lah. Kalau perempuan dia 60-40. Sebab dia nak beranak. Dia nak mengandung. Sebab tu kalau perempuan pakai baju singkat, nampak pusat tak apa. Cuba lelaki pakai macam tu. Boleh lah. Dia tak sama. Tak 50-50. Dia 50-50. Boleh. Okay. So, this is the idea. Okay. So, in your calculation, let's say the question asks you, okay, calculate the mass of moon. So, we know the mass of earth. We know the mass. Uh, we know the radius. Sorry, the distance. 
Let's say we know the force, so you can calculate either one. Just make sure everything in SI you need. Usually the R is given in kilometers because very very far. From moon to earth, tak kan? Nampi sentimeter, tak bagi meter. Okay, this one make sure in kilogram lah. Okay, mistakes usually happens. Okay, when the question give the distance, just this one. Okay, so means you have to plus this radius. Let's say this is Earth. We have radius of this Earth six point three seven ten to six kilometers. Sorry, meters. Ini jangan hafal. Dia bagi nanti. Okay, so let's say you have an object, a spaceship, or a satellite, or anything Thanos ke apa ke Okay, they're tengah orbiting the Earth Okay, so they do the same So given from the Earth's surface, let's say 400 kilometers From the Earth's surface Okay, so what happened? When you do the calculation, over here R, make sure you plus the R Okay, so this R G M M over R square supposed to be R plus H R ni R plus H square. Okay, again, what is H? H is called altitude. What is altitude? Altitude is height from sea level. Okay, from the land. Okay, ini kita bumi. So dari sini ya. Okay, then this is another radius. Okay, any question? Clear. Okay, now I have simple question. Yang ini dah pernah jadi banyak kali kan kita. Anybody ever ask you before? Masa awak sekolah rendah, kalau sekolah menengah tak kisah lah. Bila -bila. When you were, let's say, uh, in the middle of the night dengan dating ke dengan kira bintang ke dengan tengok apa-apa lah lepas tu awak nampak it looks like a star but it's not or it might be a star so someone ever tell you pernah beritahu saya pernah rasa benda ni set form 2 ok kita kata nampak tak yang tak berkelip tu is satellite yang berkelip tu is bintang something like that pernah tak orang beritahu tak percaya lah tak pernah Kan sometimes dia orang malam kan Orang nampak ada yang berkelip Ada yang tak berkelip So ada orang kata Oh yang berkelip tu Setelah dia tak berkelip tu Bintang Dia ada Pernah? Habis kan saya tanya awak lah Percaya ke tak? Ke itu balik Yang berkelip tu bintang Dia tak berkelip tu setelah Pernah tak awak tunjuk awak Nampak tu Nampak tu berkelip tu Ha itu setelah Pernah tengah? Tak pernah Pernah kan? Yang pernah tu percaya ke tak? Tak percaya Percaya Okay, how big is the satellite? Very big. Malaysia punya tiung sat. How big it is? Nama apa tiung? Burung tiung sat ni. Tiung sat is about this chair. Our misat is about this table lah. Okay, so what happened? You launch the satellite around 400 kilometers from the Earth. Yeah, you can see oh, two satellites. Kau ada kat koridor sebelah pun boleh tutup tau semua. Ni, ni tu satellite. Tak ada sikut pun tak ada kan? So, someone do tell me that when I was from two. Dia budak universiti. So, so, saya tanya dia benda yang sama. Oh, dah siap dia mata lah. Saya tak ada. Saya dah siap tu mata dia. Dia pun nampak 400 km tu satellite tu. Kan? Dia hantar satellite besar rumah boleh boleh tu nampak kan? 400 km Ini yang dia nampak satellite Okay, so What we supposed to know From the earlier part of this subtopic So, again After we derive So, force directly proportional to the interaction between two masses And inversely proportional to the distance square between them So, we come up with the Nak hilangkan ni So, we come up with the G M1, M2 over R square So this is known as Newton's law of gravitation Okay, so you need to know